It starts with the community. The community identifies what is significant. The original craftspeople of the house were the community. Your relatives, your families, the whole village would come together and build a thatch house. Now, when you look at the angle from a community standpoint, you're looking at knowing their history, knowing themselves. And that structure, that home, that building tells all that story. There is this certain pride that the community has, and that pride is reflected in that building. Architecturally, or just as one St. Nicholas's house, as one Flores's house, as Doris Luhan's house, as Anna Leon Guerrero's house. So what we do as preservationists is look at the story and try to preserve the essence of that story into that house. And so to the architectural field, the engineering field, these techniques, these technologies that were actually developed long, long time ago, it is of great value to them, whether it be the 1901 period, 1902 period, we're going to capture that moment and we're going to preserve it as the way it was. The Ana Leon Guerrero House is a prime example of historic preservation. It is really one of the first homes that we sort of dove into to preserve. So we have to take a look at the integrity of the project itself. We don't want to do fake things, things that is going to make people think that this is original when it really isn't. When we go into the Ana Leon Guerrero house, we're looking at a lot of woodwork that is happening there. And so, of course, we don't want to fool the public and hand hewn all the wood that we're going to replace. So you already would see the big difference between the old historic flooring wood that is much darker than your new wood. And only because we want to make sure that the people know that that is an addition to the original wood. So we do it by just design or we do it by the material itself. It's just a very good feeling when you walk into the house, you have that feeling of nostalgia, you may call it, or in Chamorro we say we get Mahatma because it brings you back. It brings you back to the time that house was bustling with children. They were cooking and making titizas in the back kitchen. So that house represents who we are in Guam, our Chamorro people, the indigenous people and how they look at their heritage, how they preserve their heritage, and that's what makes them who they are. Not by some law or some guideline or some procedure that we have to follow. Our heritage is our way of life. to preserve everything that we do as our tradition, our values, our beliefs, 
and that should always be the basis for historic preservation. That's what we want to portray as ourselves. While you talk about historic preservation, I'm going to talk about how we do it every day. It, it is our life. And that's how much pride we have as a Chamorro people into our heritage and this respect the architectural elements of this house. We want our future to know who we are so they know who they are. And because they know who they are, you can't go wrong. and most of the things around here is original. Next to me, this is a sleeping mat. It's made from the pandanus. And during those old times, you know, the family used this for a sleeping mat. At night time, they were laid down on the floor and sleep on the floor. When they build a house like this, there's only one big living room and one small bedroom. The family member will sleep on the floor and uh, and Mariana and Tanana will sleep in that small room. So let me just walk to this side here. This is an, a one instrument. We call it Bulimbautuzan. It was popular for, you know, to entertain for a small gathering. And how you play this, you hold this. This like uh, you're hitting the string here. And it makes sound. It's just like the picture right across. Uh, probably they're having a small yeah. gathering. When there. I initiate the project, okay. I ask family member and some of my friends, and they'll come and help me. And the men will go out and start gathering material while the woman's uh, preparing food for the men. And they'll do this for a month. The men will go out and then when they finish cutting the material, they'll bring it here and then they'll look at the material if it's if, if enough material. And when they think it's enough material, they'll decide to load it up on a caribou cart and take it all the way to Anigua. It's the only sawmill here in the island and turn it into lumber. It's a hard work, really. And this